peace be with you my dear friends in Jesus Christ the God we believe in is a God who makes all things new he does not entertain our old ways but he renews and recreate old ways and everything into a new creation in the book of Revelation in 21 5 the Lord says behold I make all things new this is what we find in the readings of this third Sunday the inauguration of this new kingdom in Christ Jesus through his spirit had been already foretold and foreshadowed in the Old Testament especially in the prophetical books in prophet Isaiah in 43 90 the Lord declares behold I am doing a new thing in Ezekiel 36 26 the Lord says a new heart I will give you and a new spirit I'll put within you and I will take out of your flesh the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh yes our God is wanting to give us fresh blessings each day he is waiting to see us being changed for better and possessing a new life in Christ Jesus. In the first reading of today, Prophet Jonah himself had a personal experience of this renewal of mind and change of his decisions. Then he goes to the popular city of Nineveh and invites the people to repent. The people respond positively. The people give up their sinful ways of life and they enjoy the benevolence and the blessings of God. In the second reading, St. Paul tells the church of Corinth, the imminent coming of a new world order with the second coming of the Lord. He writes, the present form of this world is passing away and we are going to be changed. In the gospel, Jesus inaugurates the new experience of God's kingdom by inviting people to repent. He said, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. In Greek, the word used for repentance is metanoia, which means a total change from the old ways, old habits and old lifestyles, a total transformation. In the gospel we see, Jesus goes ahead inviting individuals to experience this total change of life. He calls Peter, he calls Andrew, then James and John. These men were running after fish and nets, running after some money and some income. Jesus assures them, behold, I am going to do a new thing in your lives. Stop running after these perishable things. I'm going to make you fishers of men, It means great evangelizers of imperishable riches. Jesus did change them into fishers of men and passionate evangelizers of eternal riches. On Pentecost day, the Holy Spirit transformed them into new creations. Then they never went back to their old ways and their old lifestyles. Similar transformation took place in the lives of many people who encountered Jesus. For example, Mary Magdalene, Zacchaeus, Matthew, the tax collector, the Samaritan woman, later, St. Paul, the apostle of the Gentiles. And of course, all those who accepted this grace of repentance and radical change from Jesus throughout the history of Christianity, like St. Augustine, Francis of Assisi, Ignatius of Loyola, Francis Xavier, and thousands and thousands of Christians. In the world, all the religious leaders advise the people to change and to become better people, but they cannot empower them to do it. Jesus alone, through the Holy Spirit, can give us the power, not only to change, but to become a new creation. St. Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Yes, my dear friends, let's accept and make ours this grace of repentance and new life. This new power in the spirit, which we are so fortunate to receive from Jesus today. God bless you.